Captain Tommy Scoville. And you were on the lifeboat. And guess what? Yeah, I'm not in Nevada. This snow? We are in Tucson. <laughs> How is that? I moved here to get away from this. And now it's just dumping all over me. How about that? That's just downright hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! On the bright side, I don't have anything to shovel. How bad is this? Woohoo! <laughs> Yeehaw! Wow, is that unbelievable, huh? That, people. Ah, that is snow in Tucson. Oh, that ah, is unbelievable. Uh, thanks to everybody that, um, <coughs> thanks for everybody that sent out <laughs> all of the well wishes. Oh, I'm sorry, I got to get some, uh, it's cold. <laughs> It got really, really cold, really, really quick. Uh, I'm going to be talking to a, uh, a cardiologist on Wednesday. And uh, I'm going to uh, gonna figure out where to go from there. It's looking like uh, ablation is what they want to do. I'm a little freaked out by the whole ablation thing, I'll be really honest. I've told the story on the boat before, but we knew a, uh, we knew a doctor, a cardiologist, that killed somebody. Like, he was super open and super honest about it he said i just killed that guy like he even told the person's family and everything you know this is it's a procedure that if you screw up on the the concept behind ablation roughly is um killing off a part of the uh of the heart tissue when i left uh today i was not back in sinus rhythm amazingly i am now in sinus rhythm but it doesn't stay there it just goes <clears throat> it goes in and out and i got some a bunch of you reached out to me, people that have the, the, gone through the same thing, and a couple of you have been able to not uh, do the ablation and not do the um, the medical procedures. Uh, one person said six years without having to go and get the uh, medication required to get you back into to sinus rhythm, the uh, the throttle return spring. But this is uh, this is just getting to a point where I'm not going to be able to um, to not do anything about it. And I'm terrified because of the pain meds thing. And there's just a lot that... Thank you, Lisa Trimble, so much. I really, really appreciate you. Um, but this is one of those... Uh, this is one of those things that uh, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to be researching. And uh, I'm not... It's not something I'm stoked about. Kind of like this snow. Check this out. People, this is Tucson, Arizona. It is snowing, huge, gnarly snowflakes in Tucson, Arizona. I'm terrified to drive in this. I mean, how many people in Arizona know how to drive in snow? Unbelievable. And it all happened in about the last hour. The temperature just started dropping so, so fast. It just got crazy really, really quickly. Um, well, thank you. It is insane, right? Goosebumps? I mean, what the heck? Like, we expect this in the 801. We don't expect this in the uh, in the 520. In the 520, we are supposed to get really hot weather. Um, in the winter, it's really funny because somebody said to me, "Oh no, it snows in Tucson occasionally. You might see it once every decade or so." And I thought, if it's gonna snow, it'll snow once I get there. You know, <laughs> um, Brenda Martin, thank you so much. Well, I'll take love and prayers, people. All of them I can get. You know, I really will. By the way, <clears throat> I didn't. I obviously didn't handle the uh, the hospital thing the way that I should have. I didn't. But, uh, I got so upset with how that uh, that dude was being treated. I freaked out, and I'm I'm really lucky I got out of there without any issue. I I could have ended up arrested or worse. You know that was just uh, the people that pointed out that I didn't make a great decision. I'm well aware of that. I, I am well aware of that. It was not, but. If you had been there, I think you might have done something similar. It was really disturbing. It was really, really disturbing. I got, you know, and this guy was a doctor. He you know, spent his whole life learning medicine. And to hear her go, what do you, you think you're the doctor? You know what, Candy Striper? He is the doctor, right? He is a doctor. So is his wife. It was just, it was a beautiful story. These two had been married before and um, they met each other late in life and got married and seemed to really be in love. It was beautiful, but. 
he was playing golf. He's an octogenarian, right? So the guy's in his 80s, his late 80s. And uh, he got run over by a golf cart. I think late 80s. His birth date was in 1935. I haven't done the math. He's, in, he's not a young man. But he went in, he was brought in wearing spikes because somebody ran him over on the golf course. And he was already being treated for cancer. This is a sad story. And he was so willing to be molested by these people, waking him up in the middle of the night and roll over and do this. And he didn't complain. And my alarm went off every two seconds. Every time my heart went out of rhythm, the alarm went off to the point where they came in like four times and said, we're trying to turn the alarms off because we know that you're going in and out of it, but we can't turn it off and blah, blah, blah. So this poor guy, my alarm would go off and he couldn't tell if it was his or mine and he would call. I just, it was such a, a bad situation. I'm not making excuses, I screwed up, but it was a bad situation, it really was. But I wanted to uh, show everybody the snow. What are the odds that uh, you're gonna have an opportunity <laughs> to see a snowstorm in Tucson, Arizona? can't happen too often come to Indiana I uh, I spent some time in Indiana um, that's the good snow the good snow is the stuff that disappears in a day <laughs> that is the that's the good snow the bad snow is the stuff that accumulates and sticks around for a few weeks checks out <laughs> Fiona I wish I could send you all of the snow hun I really do I wish I could send it all to you uh, the northeast of the United States is getting pounded. There's, uh, I've heard the term, term nor'easter get pulled out. And if, you've, uh, if you grew up in that part of the world, a nor'easter was always a, uh, an experience. Or a nor'easter. But uh, when you get that, it's almost like it's beyond blizzard. It's just this ridiculous snow. <laughs> Saw it snow in Phoenix in January of 87. Wow. It is considerably hotter in, uh, in Phoenix than it is in Tucson. It's wildly noticeable. I have um, my, uh, my niece, my favorite niece, my other favorite niece, lives in, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. And, uh, you know, we, we go up and see her occasionally. Or if I got to pick somebody up at the airport, a lot of times, if you're flying in to see me, you're going you're gonna to end up doing the, um, the Phoenix because it's like when Alan flew in, you just, it's easier to catch a, uh, the nonstop um, without having to deplane 700 times, you kind of got to go into Sky Harbor, which is in Phoenix. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for content, people, um, until I get... I, my fear is that I'm going to start talking for an hour and 25 minutes in, be sitting there and bringing in... You know, I don't want to... Last time speaking kind of threw me out. Until I can uh, to, to find out a little bit more about what's going on with my heart, I'm probably going to be putting up a little bit less content. I hope that, uh, I hope that you go back and check out some of the old stuff. There's a lot of good stuff there, uh, but um, I'm just not in a, uh, I'm not in the, uh, the the best of shape right now, people, but I'm doing everything that uh, needs to be done to um, to get this crap figured out. I promise you, I am, uh, am going to get uh, all of this taken out. In the meantime, uh, I, will, uh, I will put some stuff up. I'll pop in with some videos and uh, as much as possible anyway, and I think that um, Spanx will probably be doing stuff too. At least it wasn't a larynx situation. That's right. Thank you. It was not a larynx situation, which is good. Uh, but if the uh, if the uh, if the phlebotomist, the person that was drawing blood, was a male, it might have been a larynx situation. The fact that uh, she was a Mexican, uh, a young Mexican girl, probably saved uh, that situation. I was really, really unhappy. She was just mean. I mean, there was no other way to say it. She was just mean. And if that. If that doctor's wife had been there, she would have killed her. She's a that woman was a advocate for her husband, but she had left to uh, to go home and sleep, and you know, and then they started treating them differently. And it's just it's disturbing. I don't know. It's disturbing. On the bright side, it's uh, it's over. I'm not there, and uh, I'm not going to be going. Uh, I'm not going to be going back there. That's a hospital I won't visit again. That's uh, that's how that goes. But. Um, no, it's just awful. Mean people suck. That's the rule, right? <laughs> rule four. Mean people suck. Uh, and I am. Uh, there's going to be some uh, some changes being done to my home, so I'm not necessarily going to be filming from my home for the next uh, week or two. I'm probably going to be uh, having to stay somewhere else while the changes are being made. So um, that'll keep me uh, filming somewhere else. But uh, I shall. Uh, 
I shall most assuredly uh, let you guys know everything that's going on, all right? I'm Captain Tommy, and I'm in my car. It's snowing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for uh, for all the support. I really, uh, I really care a lot about you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.